Good morning and welcome to Agoracom Small Cap Stock News TV. It's Wednesday, November the 20th, 2013. I've done my morning homework, <coughs> excuse me, and um, gone through a bunch of press releases, found some good ones to talk about today, and ultimately the goal is to help you find some good companies to do your homework on and find some investment winners in there. I'm Alan Barry Labacan. I'm the Chief Market Commentator for Agoracom. We try to keep the show to around a 10 minute time frame and I've got four companies to talk about so we'll get at it. The first company today is Kamenak Gold. Uh, Kamenak Gold announced that they've linked uh, two of their zones, that, uh, su they call them the Supremo T5 and T7 Gold Zones. Uh, this is at their um, pro coffee project up in the Yukon Territory. Um, I talked about this company recently on the, um, uh, well last week uh, they've had some recent news out and then I talked about them as one of the uh, one of the picks on my um, on the uh, best of the best in weekly news show and I, I'm quite impressed with what they had there. I, I Initially I sort of grouped them in with a lot of Yukon plays in that you know they they have a, a you know a, a six month window between um, when they do their finish their drilling in the next season. Uh, these guys have a much more accessible uh, location, so uh, they've got a good shot to get in there in the first quarter again of next year and start drilling in between. Then they've got a lot of news to come out. Uh, for example, today they had a, a news release out, or in the news release they talked about 6.23 grams per ton gold over 12.9 meters um, from 80 meters down hole. They had another hole with 5.7 grams per ton gold over 6.09 meters. So some real good results in there. It's worth taking a look at the press release. You'll get a better picture of what they're, uh, what's going on with this recent drilling. Uh, the stock today is up a half a cent to 48 and a half cents. Um, just looking at the stock chart. And when I talked about the company on Friday, I was hoping to see that the uh, that there would be a bottoming. I've noticed that uh, that the as it uh, seems to be bottoming here, it's now drying up on the uh, volume in the last couple of days. So that's a really good sign that maybe a bottom is is uh, you know developing for Kamenak, which I, I hope it will be. Um, their stock symbol is KAM, and they trade on the Venture Exchange. Next company I wanted to talk about today is. Quest Fire Energy. Uh, they announced their third quarter financial results. Um, there was some good highlights there that include uh, they averaged a production of 5,308 barrels of oil equivalent per day. They achieved record quarterly sales of 14.04 million. They achieved record funds flow from operations of 5.21 million. Uh, they ex they had capital expenditures of 2.85 million. Um, th this is their first full quarter of operations um, following their previously announced asset acquisition, um, and uh, they reached all time highs, including record high production revenue and funds flow from operations. So again, real good numbers there. Just looking at their stock and. Um, it is uh, 95 cents today. It's down a nickel. Uh, and um, just looking at the chart, this is a really patchy trader. They could certainly use some help in building their audience. Um, but uh, because of those uh, results, I'm, I'm putting this company on my radar screen. I'm going to keep a close eye on them. Uh, Q.A on the Toronto Exchange is their uh, stock symbol. Next one up is Scorpio Gold. Uh, Scorpio Gold uh, released uh, drill results from their 70% owned Mineral Ridge project, which is located in Nevada. Um, and uh, they had uh, some of the highlights included 2.24 grams per ton gold over 7.62 meters, 3.73 grams per ton over 9.14 meters. Another hole hit 12.34 grams per ton gold over 6.1 meters. So some good intersections in that drilling. Uh, just pulling up the stock chart now, they're down a penny and a half to 15 cents. Um, and I'm just uh, looking at the chart. Um, 
they've been under pressure for most of this year. Uh, been sort of, um, they were going sideways from about June until August. Uh, then they sort of started to soften up some more. Um, this is another one that it looks like as the volume is drying up that they're getting close to a bottoming. I'm also seeing their um, uh, their moving averages start to converge, the short, medium, and longer term moving averages. So that's that's very interesting start chart type pattern. Um, SGN on the Venture Exchange is their stock symbol. And the final news release today is from Sandgold. Uh, Sandgold announced uh, they confirmed high grade at their Deep Rice Lake. Um, I've been following um, this company for a long time. Sandgold has the Rice Lake mine in, uh, in Manitoba. And I had a chance about a year ago, I guess, to look closely at their uh, data when I was at one of the mining conferences. And what stood out to me was that they were getting uh, deep, I think it was the summertime actually, they had uh, some underground workings that they were getting very deep into the system. And the plan was that they could start drilling from there and testing the even deeper extensions. And you know, the in in for example, in Red Lake, Ontario, there's a lot of similarities between uh, this Rice Lake area and Red Lake. Uh, it's on the other side. Red Lake's on or Rice Lake's just on the other side of the border of Manitoba. Anyways, uh, a lot of the deposits there in Red Lake are really deep when you get into the super high grade. And I wanted to see them test this. Now they are testing it. Coming back with some great results. One hell had a 13.9 meter intersection of 23.8 grams per ton <coughs> gold. They had another 26.9 meter intersection of 8.8 .8 grams per ton gold. Some high grade uh, sub intervals in there, 2.3 gram uh, meters of 22.9 grams per ton gold. They had an 11 meter intersection of 8.7 grams per ton gold, uh, 4 meter intersection of 14 grams per ton gold, uh, 2.1 meters of 12 grams, and a sub interval in there, I mean, a, another interval of 1.5 meters of 61.4 grams. So some very nice high grade numbers in there. And I, I, I can't, I'm kind of surprised that the market's not recognizing that. Uh, they're down a half a cent today to 11 and a half cents. Um, this uh, stock, uh, it took quite a beating in the uh, first few months, three, four months of the year. Uh, and then it, uh, back in about May, it started to sort of trend sideways and create a base. Um, as it's basing here, we're having the, uh, the, the moving averages converging. So your short, mid, and long-term um, moving averages are starting to converge. I think there's a good chance that this one could start to trade a little bit more firmly. Uh, as it's getting down to the lows, it's trading on very low volume. So that's a really interesting one to do your homework on as well. SGR is their stock symbol and they trade on Toronto. So that's all the press uh, news releases for today. Uh, as always, before making any investment decisions, it's important for you to do your homework and speak with your financial advisors. Um, if you're looking for any of our past shows, uh, uh, the best place to look on the website is at blog.agoracom.com. That's B-L-O-G dot A-G-O-R-A-C-O-M dot C-O-M. Uh, and you can find all of our past shows on there. On that note, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.